Well, hey guys, I have been tagged. Uh, I have been tagged twice. First time by Peter from Varabild, and second time by Alan from IMZ Ready for Anything. The tag is uh, One Tool Survival. Uh, I've seen a lot of great videos on this tag. And uh, two of the best are Briar Goat Killer and I had to jack. They both took their item that they picked out and they affected actually everything they needed. It is really hot right now. I am sweating and enjoying it. But um, yeah, those are great videos. Now, another good video is Love Hambo. And he talked about clothing, how that is very important. And um, from that, I'd like to go to something that happened a while ago. Scott from Bass Fury, he uh, uh, did a video on his 10 piece kit. And he said he's going to count 10 pieces from his EDC upwards. So already has the CDC and then the next 10 things and I think that's very sensitive since uh, you have your EDC if you're into bushcraft or survival or just a gear junkie you are gonna have your EDC basically all the time and uh, it makes sense now uh, Peter Vincent just jumped on me and won't jump off. Uh, Peter talked about one thing that I talked, I thought about, sorry, um, where and for how long is this scenario going to last? And these are all good points. Now, if you watch uh, Briar Goat Killer or I Hatch a Jack's videos those are really good because those guys show that they have the skill to actually affect survival and uh, with a bit of luck catching some fish, animals, something eat and uh, you can affect long term survival now um, I'm not thinking about long term su survival I would just say, uh, I'd say the first 72 hours, that's what I'm going to think about, because um, I'm not going to say, okay, I'm going to count for my EDC up, <laughs> there I already have a pocket knife, a uh, lighter, so I have enough to get me by for the first 72 hours, probably, um, but I'm going to say a 72 hour scenario. And I thought about this a lot, and uh, I watched videos, and some people said um, they would take a small knife, other a fair rod, um, stainless steel water bottle, a big knife, a hatchet, an axe. Um, now, I would like to go by the first thing that I do. I would like to say 72 hours in these woods and this period of time. Now, the thing that I'm most worried about is uh, the dogs. A lot of people don't have problems with them. A friend of mine just told me, you know, the best thing for a dog, for defense against dogs, a uh, sharpened stick. You don't actually need a big knife to do that. True. You know, and I am not a Rambo survivalist, you know. Uh, <laughs> kill a wild boar with a, with a big knife or make a spear. But um, I'm thinking about what's the first thing that I do when I get out in the woods. Put my keys in my pocket, my wallet, back pocket. I put the pepper spray my front pocket and the first tool that I 
put on me that I take out of my backpack as soon as I get into the woods is a big knife. Now for the last uh, month I've been carrying this one every time, every outing. And uh, that is just because, well, the dogs. I have been charged twice. I have never been bitten and I hope <laughs> it won't happen soon. But that is my immediate concern. Um, you don't need a big knife to take a piece of wood, take a sapling and sharpen it and then fend them off. True. But last February I was um, going uphill on the other side and just when I got into the forest and I wanted to take a walking stick two dogs came barking very angry and they got very close to me. I got, a, got my K-bar out chopped a sapling and I fended them off with the sapling because I had a longer reach with that one and the knife in the other hand and they kept coming until I poked one of them with the sapling it wasn't uh, pointed they backed off a bit I charged them and then they came back by that time it was sharpened and I was a bit more sure that I could actually fend them off um, yeah, you might never get charged and right now the woods are full of people and in the summer the dogs are much less aggressive than in winter. Um, so I would worry about that. Like I said, these woods, these per this period of time, if you would set me out in the winter, I would probably choose something else. I would choose a means to have fire and just uh, rough my hands and break sticks and try to get a shelter and a fire and uh, get by like that. But right now I don't really need fire to stay over the night here. I have my clothes. I always carry, you can see right there, I have my rain jacket with me and a hoodie. And with those two on and this t-shirt, I'm very well set. If we're to take that clothing as a given. <laughs> if we don't take that for granted uh, or as a given um, I really don't know but I have been uh, thinking about this and uh, I think the best solution is think about what what is the one item you don't leave home without it uh, for me that's the most important I would like uh, I would really like a survival knife sorry for getting you dizzy looking all around. I would like a big survival knife, uh, something like a hunglas. Big, broad, thicker maybe, something that I can baton with and uh, that would give me actually safety. Um, arguably, I could affect friction fire. I do have p two paracord bracelets on me pretty much all the time and the second one not the cobra stitch, the other one, the zipper in it. You can uh, undo it just by cutting off the end knot and pulling on the string. And that gives you about two meters of paracord. You can use that for a bow drill. And uh, you have seen me uh, get a coal from a bow drill from Hazel that I picked right here. And last week it was raining and now it's not, but it's gonna, there, you, you're still gonna find dry sticks. Of hazel. It's gonna be a lot of work, but you can do it. I'm using a shot glass right now, but uh, a piece of wood works. More effort, but it works. And so arguably I could do that if I had the paracord bracelet, if I had to fashion cordage from grass and tree bark. I don't think so. So I think it all depends on the time and on your set of skills. I'm th I think I'm doing okay, but I'm not really um, a one-tool survival guy. <laughs> I'm more of a bushcrafter. I come here with everything I need uh, and more. I'm always carrying like a 15 kilogram backpack for a day trip, uh, but it's loaded out for fun. When I go out on 
two three day trips when we sleep outside I will have about the same a 15 kilogram backpack but it's gonna be less tools and uh, an isomat my my sleeping bag a tarp or yep, I, I've been going with the tarp right now I do have a tent but uh, that's a bit heavy it's four kilograms so yeah I try to carry the same weight I always carry about two three liters of water because um, it just gives the, me the weight and then I have uh, enough water to pour on the fire I haul the stuff just for practice and for fun I get tired when I get there but it's nothing it's for fun I'm um, it's probably gonna rain today um, I hope it won't <laughs> I'm really looking forward to a sunny pleasant day but if it does and I get soaking wet I left my poncho at home today because I wanted to I knew it it was probably gonna rain uh, but I'm having fun out here I get wet I get in my car it's pretty warm outside I get home I get on the shower dry off it's no problem for a longer period of time your backpack's gonna change your mentality is gonna change I hope I didn't bore you my choice stands a big survival knife I would like one that's as uh, sturdy and uh, well resistant as possible that I can baton with I have seen recently seen a video where somebody said batoning is no good I partially agree but then if you get in the situation where you need to baton how are you gonna know how your tools are gonna handle um, yeah that's pretty much me um, Thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the tag, um, Peter and Alan. By the way, uh, go check out Alan's video if you haven't watched it. I think his pick was really really great. Um, I don't think it qualifies as an item, but I honestly think it is great. It's gonna help you hunt. It's gonna warn you. It's gonna do pretty much a lot of the stuff that I fear in this forest is going to warn you of dangers and it will also protect you for the tags um, I'm gonna pick Scott from Wessex Blades he um, did the 10 piece survival kit I really liked his take on it and I would like to see uh, his take on this one um, I'm gonna pick Fagomir because he's just, um, I don't know him, just from, like I know many of you guys, from watching his videos. Uh, he gives me the impression of a no-nonsense guy, you know, but really laid back. I like that. And I'm going to tag uh, No BS Survival. Hmm. Uh, he just played around with his big knife. He carved a spoon. And uh, I want to see your take on it. So guys, I hope I didn't bore you too much. I kept it under IMZ time limit. <laughs> and um, I wish you all a great day.